Good afternoon, everybody. Jay Douglas here with you, bringing you another podcast. Today is going to be another new topic. It's going to be NASCAR talk. Today, we are a third of the way through the 2023 season, and that's how we're going to do these podcasts. We're going to have three of them, each divided up a third of the way through. So we're going to have 12 races in. The next podcast we'll have is when we're 24 races in. So be sure you tune in for that. On this podcast, we're going to run through the standings as they look right now run through the wins, and give you our analysis on who's looked great this early third of the way through the season. So we'll begin with the standings-wise. Kyle Larson in num- in one, William Byron second, Kyle Busch third, Christopher Bell fourth, Martin Truex fifth, Denny Hamlin sixth, Tyler Reddick seventh, Joey Logano eighth, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. ninth, Ross Chastain tenth, Kevin Harvick eleventh, Ryan Blaney twelfth, Brad Keselowski thirteenth, Chris Buescher, 14th, Alex Bowen, 15th, and Daniel Suarez, 16th. Those are your playoff drivers right now if the playoffs were to start today. But then the playoffs going to start for another month of the season, maybe two months of the season before we get into the playoffs. The wins right now, Kyle Larson, William Byron, Kyle Busch, all with two. Christopher Bell, Martin Truex Jr., Denny Hamlin, Tyler Reddick, Joey Logano, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., all with one. Ross Chastain, Kevin Hart, Ryan Blaney, Brad Keselowski, Chris Butcher, Alex Bowman, and Daniel Suarez all in on points right now. The points separating the 16 seed Daniel Suarez from the first player on the outside looking in being Chris Chase Briscoe, excuse me, is four points. Bubba Wallace is second on the outside looking in. He is six points back. And then it's 20 points back to Ty Gibbs, who sits 19. If you guys are unfamiliar with it, you're into the playoff automatically with a win. If 16 drivers win, then it comes down to points and tiebreakers. So as of right now, we have nine winners on the season, with three of them being multiple winners. To the drivers that have looked good in 2023, it's got to be Hendrick, specifically Kyle Larson and William Byron. But Hendrick's been good for a while. They won back-to-back championships in 2020 and 2021 with Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson, of course, Jimmy Johnson won six straight titles, or five straight titles with Rick Hendrick. He won seven overall. Jeff Gordon won some titles with Hendrick. Rick Hendrick has been a dominant owner, dominant car owner. He knows how to pick the best drivers to, to ride for his team. Kyle Busch, he's looked pretty good. He's got a new team this year. He's won a couple races. Last year, he would have won a lot more races if not some late race cautions. So I think he's looked pretty good. Alex Bowman may soon not be eligible for the playoff because he's out for a couple weeks. He was injured. And you guys are wondering about Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott right now is 29th in points. Remember, he missed a lot of time with an injury as well. So he and Alex Bowman missing time, and that could dampen their playoff hopes. From Ross Chastain down to Daniel Suarez, I don't think that they've looked all that great. Ryan Blaney, I think, has had a couple top, top 10 finishes. But Suarez, Chris Buescher, Brad Keselowski, they haven't really shown me a whole lot this year. Of course, Ricky Stenhouse, he won the Daytona 500. He's kind of like Michael McDowell was in 2021. That's what Ricky Stenhouse is. Or like Austin Sendrick did last year. Winning the Daytona 500, not really performing everywhere else. Joey Logano, he's looked all right. Tyler Reddick's looked pretty strong. I think that the... Guy you want to watch out for. Denny Hamlin, of course, he just got his last win this past week at Kansas. So he didn't have a win. He just got it. So I want to say the guy you want to watch out for that doesn't have multiple wins yet is going to be that Joe Gibbs tandem. Truex, Hamlin, and then the Roger Penske, Joey Logano-owned car. And then you might want to throw Kevin Harvick in that mix. He won a couple races last year. It's his last season. I think he'll get a win before the year is out. And Brad Kozlowski didn't win a race a year ago. Ryan Blaney also didn't win a race a year ago. So keep an eye out for those guys. They haven't really shown a lot here a third of the way through the season, but they could have some four little tracks coming up, and they could post a win before the year is out. And aside from the players on the outside looking in, I think Chase Briscoe could win a race before the year is out. He won a race a year ago. Bob Wallace won a race a year ago. You know, he he fancies those restrictor plate tracks, but he can very well win at the short tracks or the uh, half miles, mile and a half. He he won at Kansas a year ago, so shows you that there's more in his arsenal than just Daytona, 
Talladega, Atlanta. I mean, Chase Elliott very well could win one of the road courses, so he could virtually steal a playoff spot. And I think that's pretty much it as far as drivers that are on the outside looking in that I think could very well win a race before the year is out and get themselves into the playoff. If all those guys were to win a race, so Kevin Harvick, Ryan Blaney, and Brad Keselowski, they would lock up three spots, and then Bubba, Chase, and then Elliott. Those would be your 16 drivers, and they'd all have a win. So then you'd have to go into tiebreakers if a 17th driver were to win a race. Still got some road courses to, to race out. We're not even hit the road courses yet. The first road course, I think, comes up in, in June, the, the first week in June. Uh, the All-Star race is in a couple weeks. Of course, we've got the Coca-Cola 600 coming up. They're at Darlington this week. The guy that won the race last year, Joey Logano, won one of those Darlington races. And I think Eric Jones won the other one. So jo a track coming up that Joey's won at. The Coke 600, Kyle Larson has won that. You think about the road course, Kyle Larson's a threat on the road courses, as is Chase Elliott. Tyler Reddick, actually, I, I take that back. We raced at Coda, the Circuit of the Americas in Texas. Tyler Reddick won that one. Tyler could win a road course, pick up his first win, or his second win. That's right, he won at Coda. Ross Chastain, he won at Coda a couple years ago, so keep an eye out on him when we hit the road courses. That would be an interesting playoff if. Harvick, Blaney, and Keselowski all made it. And then Bubba Wallace, Chase Briscoe, and Chase Elliott all made it in, which means Ross Chastain, Alex Bowman, and Daniel Suarez are all out. Now, Daniel actually won Sonoma last year, so with that track coming up, maybe you throw him in there to get a win, maybe. So let me know what surprised you over these first third of the, third of the season. I haven't really been surprised. I'll say that right now. No, nothing has really surprised me. I mean, Kyle Larson... William Byron being dominant, no surprise there. The fact that Martin Truex, Denny Hamlin, and Christopher Bell have all won a race, that doesn't surprise me. Joe Gibbs is the second best, I'd say, to Rick Hendrick. Then it's probably Roger Penske, and then Richard, Richard Childress, and then the small small companies, Front Row Motorsports, 2311 Racing, Spire Motorsports, Rick Rare, Rick Rare Racing. Let me know what your early playoff looks like. Do you agree? Those 16, 16 drivers could make it in. The the three that I mentioned that were in the playoff and then the three on the outside looking in. Let me know who you think makes the field of 16 when the season wraps up or the playoffs get clinched in July. So that's two months away. And the season ends in October, November. We'll be back when we reach the 24 race mark. We'll update the standings then and see where the second half of the season, the second third of the season has taken us. Be sure you guys give this podcast a listen and listen to our other podcasts as well. We enjoy bringing this to you and we hope to have plenty more content for you.